Hey YouTube. I just um want to make this video real quick. Today um I wanted to see if I could get WebOS working on a TC1100, it's the uh, 800 megahertz Celeron version. Um, what I did was I downloaded the WebOS uh, SDK, 32-bit version, and um, I took two of the images that it comes with, and um, I put the VDMK, just a VBox uh, image, uh, on a USB um, pen drive. And then I took another pen drive and I put Parted Magic on it. And I plugged them both into the laptop. And I transferred the uh, image over to the hard drive using the copy the copy and paste mechanism in the uh, partition tool. Then what I did was I took the ISO that came with the SDK and I burnt that over to another pen drive which was relatively small using the pen drive Linux Yummy utility. And uh, after I did that uh, plugged it in, turned it on, and the uh, the ISO didn't pick up the hard drive, or the booted ISO did not pick up the hard drive automatically. So, in the beginning of the video, you see me uh, changing the parameters, uh, but um, seems to work. Um, it doesn't work that well because a lot of the uh, a lot of devices aren't supported, and you know that's to be expected. I mean, I, w I wouldn't I wouldn't expect this this OS to work with this this equipment right out of the box. Wish it did, but it doesn't. Um, in order to get the keyboard working. It has to be unplugged and plugged back in. Uh, it did not support the mouse. So I think I'm going to call it quits on this. Here the uh, the videos just switched because I had to uh, plug the keyboard, unplug the keyboard and plug it back in. But you can see that a few of the keys are working. Some of the keys allow me to rotate the screen. It's a pretty neat little OS, OS. and um, I don't know if I'm going to be fiddling with it anymore, but um, anyways, I thought I'd tell you how I did it, if anybody's interested.